Annie and Clarabelle. This is a story about Thomas's coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. They love running backwards and forwards along the branch line with Thomas. But one day, they are given a chance to prove just how useful they can really be. You can read the first page. Okay. <clears throat> Annie and Clarabelle were Thomas's coaches. Annie could only take passengers, but Clarabelle could take passengers, luggage, and the guard. The coaches were old and in need of new paint, but Thomas loved them very much, and they loved him too. Thomas never got cross with Annie and Clarabelle, but he did get cross with other engines on the main line who made them late. Your turn, Daisy. Okay. One day, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle were waiting for Henry's train to arrive. Henry was late, and Thomas was getting crosser and crosser. How can I run my train properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that the fat controller depends on me, he said. I'm sure he'll be along soon, replied Annie and Clarabelle, looking around for Henry. Your turn. Okay. <clears throat> At last, Henry's train arrived. Thomas was very cross with Henry, but Annie and Clarabra waited patiently as lots of passengers got out of Henry's train and climbed into them. Finally, the guard blew his whistle and Thomas started at once. But as the guard turned to jump into Clarabelle's van, he tripped over an, an old lady's umbrella. And by the time he had picked himself up, Annie and Cl Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle were steaming out of the station. Oh, so that's why he never got on in the first place. Oh, your turn. Oh, okay. The guard waved his red flag to stop them, but Thomas and his driver didn't see him. Come along, come along, sang Thomas. I've lost my nice conductor, sobbed Clarabelle. Annie tried to tell Thomas. We've left the, the guard on the platform. But Thomas was too busy hurrying to listen. Oh, come along, he puffed impatiently. Annie and Clarabelle tried to pull Thomas back, but Thomas took no notice. Thomas didn't stop till they came to a signal. That silly signal. What's the matter? Thomas asked his driver. I don't know, replied the driver. The guard will tell us in a minute. They waited and waited, but the guard didn't come. Peep, 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 peep. Where's the guard? Whistled Thomas. We tried to tell you. We've left him behind, sobbed Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas looked back along the line, and there was the guard, running as fast as he could. Everyone cheered, especially Annie and Clarabelle. I'm very sorry, said Thomas when the guard reached them. It wasn't your fault, Thomas. It was the old lady's umbrella, said the guard, catching his breath. The signal is down. Let's make up for lost time. Thomas set off straight away and Annie and Clarabelle sang, as fast as you like, as fast as you like, all the way to the end of the line. <clears throat> A few days later, Thomas was ill and the big station couldn't make him better. He would have to go to the works. Annie and Clarabelle were sad. They would really miss Thomas. <clears throat> Duck came to the station to help while Thomas was away. He was very gentle with Annie and Clarabelle, and they liked Duff very much. He is so calm with such nice manners, they, to they told each other. It really is a pleasure to go out with him. Annie and Clarabelle were sorry to say goodbye to Duff when Thomas came home, but they were very pleased to have their old friend back. They told Thomas how well Duck had managed 
Thomas was a bit jealous, but he was so pleased to be home that he soon forgot. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. You can read the other part of the page. The works had made Thomas feel much better, but they had left his handbrake very stiff. This made him break this made his brakes seem as if they were on when they weren't. Thomas's driver and fireman soon learned to be extra careful so he didn't overrun the platform. But one day, Thomas's fireman was ill, and a re relief fireman took his place. Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle were waiting for Henry's train to arrive. The fireman fastened the coupling, but he forgot all about Thomas's handbrake. Suddenly, Thomas felt his wheels begin to move. He tried to stop, but his driver and fireman were on the platform. Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle gathered speed out of the station. Stop! Stop! shrieked Annie and Clarabelle, but Thomas kept on going. The signalman sent a message along the line, and an inspector prepared to stop Thomas near the airfield, but Thomas was going much too fast for the inspector to act. Quickly, the inspector climbed aboard Harold, and they took off. Below, Thomas was tiring. I need to stop! I need to stop! He panted wearily. Annie and Clarabelle knew that they must do something to help their friend. The coach, the coaches remembered how calm Duck was when they worked with him. They must just be as calm and steady now. Annie and Clarabelle pulled back as they were as they went uphill and managed to slow poor Thomas down. As they neared the next station. They saw Harold land and the inspector re run towards the platform. This time, Thomas entered the station slowly enough for the inspector to jump into his cab and put the handbrake on hard. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief as the train stopped. Your turn. Oh, good. That evening, the fat controller came to see Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. He told Thomas that he would have his handbrake repaired straight away and congratulated Annie and Clarabelle for helping Thomas when he really needed them. Annie and Clarabelle were delighted and Thomas beamed with pride. He always knew that they were the best coaches in the Fat Controller's Railway. The End